morning! It is another morning at DJ Projects, and what are we on today? We have got a big list of jobs to do in Big Red. Both, oh, well, both grabs are, or well, three grabs are at, but the other two are at workshop. They're doing muck shifting, so they've been muck shifting for two days now. So hopefully they're back tomorrow and they'll be grabbing around this area. But yeah, what we've got first, we have got two bags of plum slate and it's for Blake at his house. So let's get that dropped off. And we are on site. So yeah, just going to drop them down here. Two bags of plum slate and some membrane. So let's get them dropped. So heartless, and hey, you don't care. And I don't even know what I've been fighting for. You got me hoping, and hey, you don't care. And I don't even know what I've been fighting for. Every time I fall in a deep. Just the weed control, really. I assume he's redoing this. So we'll put this down here. No, we won't. Slide it in there, look. So two bags, plum slate dropped off, and now we are going to drop some stone off, I believe. There's another one dropped, on to the next. Here we are, and another drop, Finn's just showing the straps out. So let's get this one off. And I can't fight it, I can't fight it. You wreck my mind, I'm losing my sleep. And you know that it's all that I need. So don't leave me alone. There we have it guys, all dropped off nice there. Uh, on to the next. Here we are, another one. This is Lucky's job. We we'll put two torn round about there for him. Have it guys, two tonne dropped off, now it's back to the yard. We're gonna get eight tonne of roadstone loaded up and dropped off. So I forgot, we had these two bags. There we have it, all gone and on. So let's get gone. Now we're going back to the yard, grab that eight tonne of worried roadstone. There we have it, eight tonne all loaded up and ready to go. Let's get it. So there we have it guys, guys just gonna get the barrows now, shift that, I'm gonna take it round the back and we are back to the yard now. So that's me all done and dusted, done all my grabs. So, yeah, we had a little bit of an interview. When we went to go and pick the bars up the other day, it wasn't the only trip we made. We interviewed someone, someone who's going to start at the company. Yeah, uh, I think he's going to be suited. So, I think his first day is going to be in tomorrow. So, you'll get to meet him tomorrow. So, I'm going to go and have a, a second meeting with him today and then see, see if he's suited to come to the NJ projects. It's Finn, look, straight on it. He's, he's finished with me and he's straight back in there on the concrete side, smashing it out. So, hello, guys. I have no idea where this clip's coming into the video, but it's me, it's Scott, and we're on a fencing install today. Uh, this is Jamie's mum and dad's. Jamie, woodshop worker Jamie. This is mum and dad's. And we've been taking all of these out by hand. This art by hand. So if that's not worth a like on this video, I don't know what is. Subscribe to the channel, guys, if you're brand new. And definitely comment down below. There's no better time to get involved in the interaction than in the comments down below, guys. We are smashing it with the comments. Dad is replying to near on everyone. But what are we doing in this particular job. Seven foot tall fence. There was gonna be one gravel board. I've changed it. I want two gravel boards in there, guys, because this is ground level, basically, where the slabs are. 
if I put one gravel board in there, it's going to be roughly around about just past that sleeper, halfway past that sleeper, just there, look. Well, if I then put the panel onto the, the gravel board, about almost a foot's worth of all of this soil is going to be sitting against the panel. I do not recommend it. Hey, hey on, mate. You doing all right? But yes, so two gravel boards, a lovely double-sided tongue and groove panel, one side horizontal, one side vertical. Going to look very, very nice. And then a trellis on top. It's going to look, it's going to look something fancy, guys. Something fancy indeed. The high is going to be running across all the way as well. So we'll start with this bay here. So I've got the desired high and then we'll just dig the channel through. Hence why we're doing this with the soil here. Once we've got roots out, we've just got to dig a channel all the way down there. It's going to be a big channel up there, but that's just part and parcel of the job, guys. That's what we've got to do. So that's what we've got to do. Look forward to this one. It's going to look nice. Hard work, but we love a bit of hard work at DJ Projects, don't we, guys? So, yeah, we've got one, two decent sized roots, and then three or four mediocres and one concrete post right at the top. So, yeah, I'll try and set you up for a time lapse and you can watch us do a bit of this, um, this sort of digging out. I said you'll meet our new employee. He's coming to work today with us. Well, I'm not taking him. Mrs. D and J's taking him. Here he is, look. Mr. Pickles. He's gonna be coming to work with us. So he's a teddy bear, blue mill Pomeranian. So you'll be seeing a lot more of him at work. I'm on quoting again today. I've got a quote at half past seven. I'm going to go and open up. And then I've got the Bowser to pick up today as well. So you're going to see that. So I'll see you at work. And we're in the office. Just setting my iPad up already. My first quote's half past seven. We keep on missing this guy. So I'm going to catch him before he goes to work. I believe. I haven't seen a bit of time I drive. So that would be my first quote. And then I've got one for a church. Wants to drop crossing. The same as what we've done with the granites, I do believe. Um, it's just a couple of us. And then I'm going to go and sort the trailer out. Go and sort of bulb out on the trailer. So that's all up and running and safe. So I'm going to pick them Bowser's up. Well, Bowser. I want to see that blue Michael, which I hope you've had a chance to go and have a look at his channel because he puts a lot of content out week in, week out. Scott's here. Scott's loading up. Just got him a drink. And. I'll probably go to the toilet, wait for Jamie to get here, and Jordan, and everyone, and then I'll be on my way. Good morning. Let's get some panels in. We think we need an adjustment of the gravel board once they're in, but we don't really know yet. It looks close. We're going to set you down, and we're going to, we're going to slide them in, guys. So let's do it. Onto the things, then up there. 
right. Left it moving. I'm not seeing the bottom eyes. No, so up end, we'll put your side in once we get it higher, and then it just means you've got to lift this side in there, aren't you? You ready? Go on. Let's just, just, just get it, get it Open in, in yeah? Open in. Open in, yeah. Well. yeah. One, ready. two, three. Screw thing, isn't it? Now lift mine up. Yours will go past. Yeah. Alright, I'm on. You Different sided panels, it's double sided. Horizontal, vertical. Very nice. Yeah, but on the opposite side now. What are we thinking, guys? Hello. Beautiful. Very, very nice. Next bay is in. 46 and a half inch is the panels. Just filling in the hole now before we go across. That bit of soil there, that's all got to come out. We've got to cut that down or take it out because we're just cutting off. We're basically... That's the boundary post, but we've had to step off that because of these sleepers just there. Can you see how close we've gone to the sleeper? Of course, we don't want to be cutting into next door's sleeper. That's not what we're about, guys. But we are running this in the perfect straight line. I did give customer the option. I said I can run straight down like that and then cut into the last one. Or I can go to wherever that sleeper will let me. Of course, I've got to go at the side of the window. I can't go any further that way. And I said we will run in the perfect straight line if you want us to he said yes please so next post just next to it basically you can see look there's post we're going just next to it straight line should look nice jamie's making this trellis this trellis good to go so we are back at the yard now we've just come to get those panels jamie's made them we've just emptied the van just there we're just putting this in the skip with all our rubbish we don't like to leave our rubbish on site or use the customers bins obviously it's our rubbish we want to put it in our skip guys i'm sure customers wouldn't mind but we don't want to be like that filling up their bins so yeah chuck this in the skip pick up the panels i'll tell you what i'll do i'll show you the panels uh in a second 
Try this on the van, mate. Oh, yeah. So, try this on top, guys, like the job. Yeah, let's get them on van and get gone. Nothing wrong with that. Well done. Good job. Me and Scott, we ain't done too bad. Smashed it. Not done too bad, mate. Well done for today. Smashed and it. yesterday, you've smashed it, mate. I believe Jamie's mum and dad will be very happy with that. I'm sorry for the wind, it's just picked up. But come on, guys. Amazing, right? Very happy with that. We'll just show you before. And now. What's not to like, right? Exactly what the customer asked for. So I've finished all my quotes and now I'm picking up the buzzer. So yeah, I believe that, that one there is ours. Chelsea's come with me. She's had a day out with me. Comes out with strap up. We've got the trailer on. Toes are lovely. So yeah, we're gonna get it on and get it gone. Yes, guys, it was definitely ours. So that little one, that's the one we did look at. We looked at something very, very similar to this. So it's the tow round. But I just think. The bigger one is a lot better. I think it's just going to suit us a lot better. Yeah, it's going to suit us a lot better. Here's Michael. Look, here's the guy that's looked after us. But yeah, he's done a splendid job. I'll show you a little bit of the workings and that, what he's done for us, and what a super, super job he has done. So what do you think to that fence installing, guys? Let us know in the comments down below. I think it looks... Bloody amazing, if we do say so ourselves. It's that time of day again. That's filling up the grabs, ready for some tip runs in the morning. But on that note, we'll see you tomorrow. Early bird strikes the worm. Well, that early, customers not up yet. So all we've got is a panel replacement. Some eagle-eyed viewers who watched, I think it might have been last Sunday's video, we did two panel replacements at the top of the garden and we said, yes, they do need this one doing, but customers are only paying for this one at the minute. They want the next one doing. It's, it always happens, always happens, guys. Uh, they always have the ones that they want doing, basically, over time. But we're back, we're waiting just for someone to, to be up or just to let us in. And then we can do our job and then crack on, guys. But yes, it's Thursday. I think we've got two, possibly three gates today. But we're gonna take you along for the ride and hopefully you enjoy what you see, guys. One, two, three, four. We said this one needed doing. So we've got it done, guys. Solid bit of work. Asked to just put the shrubs that were behind this one just there for the gardener to take. 
So that's what we've done. This is the old one, battered look. Definitely ready for a replacement. But yeah, back to the yard we go. It's not quite the yard. This gate is being changed. So let's get her off. And just like that, I can honestly say that's just taken uh, two minutes. Done and dusted. So when you've got something like this, guys, and you're putting a gate in, start here. Put your timber on this side here because you're going to match off to this high. And then once you've got this timber on, you can use a level to run across, get the length of your timber, and you know it's going to be the perfect height. So timber right there. solid this is just the connection post as well guys so this is just gonna have the, like the suffer latch will be connected on here this is where your gate is going to be hanging off so we're going to get a timber on this one right here and there we have it this one is all ready for gates take a measurement send this to jamie now and then we're on to the one down there this is the next one Pretty much exact same. Just gonna make sure that this gate is quite low. Not quite low, I guess, but low enough because obviously we don't want a little dogger getting out that gap. So yeah, let's get this one off. Timbers are on the wall. Let's go to the next job. Good morning. I don't know how to get myself in some sticky situations. I'm moving hot tubs now. Yeah, I'm moving hot tub for Maureen and Russell because they've got their new place. And this one is going in Port Exchange, I do believe. I might have got that wrong. They've only got a new one, taking this to Port X, so I'm getting rid of it. It was in that hole down there. I just lifted it. We'll get it on, get it gone. So dropping it here. So I do assume it's been part chopped in against a new one. I think they could do that. But we'll get it off and we'll get gone. I don't know what you're seeing there because I come back to the camera and it's looking at the sky. So, hot tub all dropped off. Oh, I've got a lovely showroom inside there. Really, really nice showroom. So, we'll not be taking a Mrs. Dean J there. No, I won't because I'll end up, I'll end up buying a hot tub or something. And then I'll have to redo the garden, or do the garden. So, yeah. Next time you see me, I'll be back in the yard. I've got a load of jobs to do. I'm going to show you what I'm up to. So, plan with this one, there was a panel. It's on screen right now. Uh, we're going to measure just over three and a half foot, and we're going to dig a brand new hole there, and then we're going to install a brand new post because there's going to be a nice, decent-sized gate here with a little panel just there, guys. It's pretty simple. Scott, magic fingers for a post somewhere around about here, mate. And there we go, guys. Panel adjusted. Post, timber, timber, gate's been sent to Jamie. Once we do another drop crossing on our driveway, we'll just drop a tiny bit of tarmac in here, of course, because it is a tarmac drive that used to be here. Drop crossing, see? Not bad. We're guessing Jamie's already made the other gate, so we're going to head back to the yard now, and then we're going to go on site, and we're going to install those gates while we wait for this gate, so we'll see you at the other gate job. We're on job. We've done one gate. All the way down there. We'll show you that in a sec. We'll film this one here, guys. Putting hinges on right now. This one's slightly bigger. Yeah, let's get it. Almost done and dusted. Got to come back and put a hinge on there. I'll show you the hinge in a second. This one, on the other hand, is done. Don't want to stand on the grass because obviously we're wet everywhere. But yeah, not too shabby, guys. Not too shabby indeed. Well, you can't see me, but we've got to go back to the yard now to get the other gate. So let's get there. So. 
What did I film last? Hot tub. Yes. I'm back now. I've been back a while. I've talked a load of quotes out. What we are doing, our trusty trailer, me and Ann are repairing it. But we're going to go OTT, aren't we, mate? We're going to yeah. go OTT. We're not having this, this rotten ply. We're not happy with that. We are going decking. Yeah. We're going to have decking on it and we've decided we're going to, we've got some aluminium seats, some old signing. We're going to put that on because the posts cut into this. So when it's wet, it cut into it. So decking, look really nice with decking and protect the decking with some aluminium sheets. And when the aluminium sheets wear out, we'll just replace the sheets. So, and it's going to rip the L out of it with a gusto bar and this. Here we go. What we're gonna do now, get my chalk string line, line it up with that, ping it, and then we're gonna cut all them off. It's worked out with a two inch sliver, but I'd rather put a sliver in the middle than the either side. There's less chance to break and damage in the middle. And then we'll cut all them off, look really nice. And what the lads have asked me to do, put something here, just to lift it above that, because put the gravel boards on and you have to lean it anyway. So it's something a little bit higher, which won't matter to me when I put the sunny on. But yeah, me and Ant are doing a splendid job. Ant's grinded it all, he's cut all the bits off. I think Ant suggested we paint it black and all. I think that's a good, good shot. Got some DJ projects down the side. If it's on, it's gone. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna look super cool. Weight-wise, I don't think there's going much in it, mate, is there? No. That, them boards are rotten and wet. So weight-wise, I think this might be a bit lighter. But I'm going to do the string line now. Cut it off. Right at all the edges so it looks nice. And then screw it in. So this is how far we've got. We've routed that. And Ant has been plodding on and fastening all these boards down. So Ant's going to complete this tomorrow. And then we're going to put, we've got loads of these. My mate gave me these. These are like old, old signs. They're coming under. So we're going to put them on there. You're not cover it all, but we'll protect it. And then when that wears out, we'll take it off and get another one. But that is another day at D and J. We'll see you in the morning. Customer's gonna creosote this panel. He loves a bit of creosote on this one, don't he, mate? Yeah. So, yeah. Not too shabby. Definitely not too shabby. And then, just to say, scooters there. Uh... Good morning. It's Friday morning. Everybody loves a Friday. So, what is happening today? Puppy progress report. Injection time. So a little pickles, he's got to have his injection today. So me and Bernie are going to take him to have his injection and then I'm on grabs this afternoon. He's doing really well, look. Serious, he's just cleaning him, son. He's doing really, really well. You'll be seeing a lot more of him. We're having a late one today, aren't we, mate? Going in a little bit later. But I'm going to get his jabs done and then we'll catch back up at work. Good morning, guys. It's Fat Friday, we're going to treat ourselves to a cob. We're at 44 Cob Shop on Porchester. Definitely give it a try if you get a minute, guys. Very, very nice. We've got a gate installed after this tongue and groove, two tongue and groove panels as well. It's going to be, well, it's going to look very, very good indeed. As soon as we get there, guys, we'll show you what the job entails. I'll take you along for the ride. 
Hey, so here we are then guys. This is what we're replacing today. It's a tongue and groove. It's had it though. Look at the bottom. It's all rotten away and bits and bobs. What we're doing today is taking it all down. There's gonna be one bay there, little tongue and groove section. One bay there, little tongue and groove section. And then right here, there's going to be a, uh, a tongue groove gate basically. It's gonna look very, very nice. First things first. We're going to get it down. We've got the new tripod, so you're going to see a bit more of this install. I told you I was going to buy one, and here we go. So let's get that taken down. Just showing break is already hanging out for you eagle eyed viewers. Take me up to heaven. Heaven, heaven. Yeah, she got me reaching still. Still, still, still. Nothing to stop me falling. You can see where it was, look. That's where it wants to be. You see where it used to be. It did opposites, look. And there's a couple more. Very close to the edge of the brick. Don't like going to the edge of the brick. I've told you this before, guys. Don't go in the mortar. Don't go into the edge of the brick. Give your brick a chance. Otherwise, this can happen. So I'll put that there for now. It's done now. So now we've got it done. We'll have a cup of tea. Feel like we've earned it. And we'll start figuring out what's going where. So, in the top, on the wall, like for like. This one come off the wall, this one go on the wall. There's a drain right here. No one's digging a hole there, guys. Exact same over here, hence why they went on the wall. Just a shame they cut the brick off. On the wall right here. We cannot dig a hole there. We cannot dig a hole there, but we can there and there. Just being careful, having a look where the drains are. So we should be all right. Well, you'd think okay here. But first, there's gonna be into there. Boom! So we have a post, we have a gravel board, we have a hole cut to depth and everything we've got a hole or where it's going to be a hole cut ready about to use a breaker on that but just realized i can't slide these panels in can't slide it in that side and i can't slide it in that side so what i need i need jamie to make the panels so we've had to basically both panels are going to be two feet long and we're just going to go from there guys we'll, we'll put them in slide them in slide the posts in and their friend will be good to go. So we're back at the yard. We've got loads of duckies. The moron just scooted over there. Puppy update. Couldn't have his jab. He's got a bit of diarrhea. He's not being sick or anything like that. And he didn't eat his breakfast this morning. So they've advised us better off making sure he eats it something today and he's back upright and he drinks plenty and then he can have his jab and next week. So he's booked in next week now, not this week. But I'm just gonna do my vehicle checks and then start doing what I need to do on the grab. I've got loads to do. One down, two to go. There's two more dropped off. Now we've just got that and this one got put on by accident. So we we'll have to take that one back to the yard. But yeah, we've got three ton of recycled. So guys, just did a grab just there. Didn't really film it because as you can see, we had to block the road so next one we'll try and film it if not because time is cracking on we need to get done we'll just show you before and after it's really new apologize but there'll be plenty more content when we get back in the yard here we have our next grab let's get it on There we have it all nice and clean. All done now, mate. 
on there, on there. Nice big gate in the middle. It's gonna look nice. Too bad guys, not too bad indeed. Definitely not too shabby. Tidy up, measure up for a gate, get Jamie made a gate, and then we'll come back. Oh, in fact, I'm lying. 4b2, 4b2. So yeah, let's get them done, tidy up, and then we're out of here, guys. Not too shabby. Right, go and pick up a gate for here. Some uh, ballast, cement. For the post, and we're good to go. Yeah, you know she got me climbing still. Nothing to stop me falling. Oh, who knew that looks could kill? I don't wonder why I'm breathing heavy like the weight of it's on my chest. On my chest, cause it ain't no lie. It's a little bit dark, but not too shabby. Got Scott just smoothing off the holes that we had. We'll tidy it up in a sec. And then we've got this one just here. Front. Right, there you go. Flash is on, guys. It's looking amazing. I'm going to come and take a picture tomorrow for you. So, yeah. Oh, dear. It's dark out here. So then, guys. Yes, it was dark there. I didn't get a chance to take a picture, but I believe that is end of video. I'll see if Dad's got out to say. But yeah, we did a live here uh, yesterday, Friday night live at DJ Projects. I'm sure we'll do another one if you want to catch us doing a live video. Let us know to um, what you think to all the installs this week. Very much would appreciate it, guys. Let us know in the comments down below. Of course, Dad and I will get back to you where we can. Yeah, around about 40 minutes this video, so hopefully you've enjoyed what you've seen. I'll go and see if Dad's got out to say, and then we'll sign out the video. So then guys, I don't know what I filmed last, but I'm back at home, not in the yard. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Here's Mr Pickles signing out with us. He's not up there, just been woke up. So we'll see you in the next one, guys. Mm -hmm.